hear it again. Blessing torch. <laughs> okay, this is something that I have in my heart burning and it's burning and it's burning since one year now. This June, the month that just ended yesterday, is a year that this what I'm going to share is just burning and the flame is increasing and increasing. It's not going away. So I say yes and amen to it. More than say yes and amen to it. I'm I'm moving forward with it. With it. And um, I know we are going to be mighty blessed. Mighty, 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 mighty blessed. And, and it's about the kingdom of God. So... It's based on Matthew 6.33. But seek first. Do you hear what? Do you hear what it said? <laughs> Do you hear what the words of my mouth has spoken? But seek first. No second, no third, no fourth. First. His kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well that was internal um, international version and new living translation said seek the kingdom of god above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need mm. do you get that part and he God Most High will give you everything. He say everything that you need, not everything that we in prideful way want. It's the needs, the needs, and the needs are where to live, what to dress, and what to eat. That are the, those are the main needs of human beings. How this is going to take place is another story. But he will make sure that you have where to sleep, what to eat, and what to dress. He can give you more, of course. And this is not only for the chosen one, not only for the people who have said yes to God in living a life that is laid down at his feet, at his presence, doing what he wants. This is, this is for everyone. For everyone who chooses to walk, to seek and walk under the kingdom of Most High God. Okay? So, a standard um, translation says, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. I'm going to leave it there because basically it says the same thing, you know? Probably change one or two words. So these expressions of Matthew, I believe was Matthew because I'm taking this one from Matthew 6, right? So the answer that was given to the people back then, that is the same blessings that we can carry and we can abide on it in these days. It was, in other words, worry not. Just make sure that you follow him, that you seek him, that you are adored of the kingdom of God. And then get for sure, get, get for sure that the rest of the things will be added to you. But you have to follow the kingdom of God. Know your own kingdom. Know that devil kingdom. Your king, the kingdom of God. Your kingdom, God most high. Is the one that I deserve to follow. That's why you're saying, that's why you're thinking, that's why you're abiding, that's what you're feeling to do. Then the rest of the thing will follow you. They will not be added only. They will follow you. There's another translation set. In other words, those things are going to chastise you. Mm. Why we then have the tendency to forget those riches? Because we don't 
refresh our souls, our minds with the word. Yes, there are many opinions here in the world. They are human beings and they make a lot of opinions. And I love Paul because Paul was sincere. He knew when he was his own thoughts, his own opinion, which is a righteous opinion. It was okay. It was okay to, this is okay to think about it. But he was, he was sincere, you know, he was saying, okay, this is what I'm thinking, you know, but this is what I hear from God or due to encounter or due to a vision or due to a dream or due to an encounter that I have with another people that have an encounter. An encounter is a vivid experience that we have. We heavenly host, um, angelic light, pure movement of the kingdom that it belonged to God, Most High. Um, that is manifested unto, um, in between, he, and in the midst, sorry, in the midst of his love, um, tenderness and peace that can embrace us and it can be tangible, it's tangible in our being. We can feel in our flesh that love and God's um, peace and, and his goodness, you know, or any kind. Um, so what I have in my heart based on that scripture is do a fasting, fasting of love. And I want to you um, spread the voice um, because I have great expectations for, half a, for us have a shifting from heaven here on earth. Um, where we are going together, learn the ways of God to love each other, because that's His mainly uh, desire to place His love in us, to allow us to feel His love, but also loving one another in pure ways. Every relationship, every relationship should be established in agape love. That's why we see so much divorce in this day. That's what, why we see so much um, um, brokenness in the families in these days. We because the foundation of what we supposed to be built the house. It's not in agape love. And it should be in agape love. But because we didn't receive it by our parents, mainly the great percentage in this earth, in humanity, we didn't have that when we grew up. I get it. It's happened to me. There's a very few portion, very few portion that we receive by his grace and mercy concerning his agape love, which is pure ways of loving, which is purity. But more than purity, it's um, persisting, you know, persisting and, and being um, con contentious in a good way. So... Here we are going together to manifest, you know, to to be encouraged to manifest love, to manifest love and to manifest love. Because God's expectation is not only for us to receive it from him, but also to be able to give it to others. Even those are the enemy. Do you know that the, the scripture said, there's a scripture that said that the recompense of loving and coming when you get to have action even if it's in the hidden ways in your room by praying and it's when we loving our enemies yes it's not when you're loving a person that can love you back it's when we loving our enemies it's where we receive recompense by heaven but that's another story we're talking now about um even learn how to love those that are close to us. We're not supposed to run in from the relationship. We're supposed to hold on 
into the one who can give us all the goodness that we need to keep on going and marching together in togetherness. Learning how to coexist together in harmony in the same place with God love. Yes, we have a human love too. But the base of all things should be and it is, according to scripture, agape love, pure ways of loving. So I'm inviting you to be encouraged and to be attent to um, these 40 days of fasting. And when I say fasting, it don't mean that you have to abs um, walk in abstinence of food. If in your relationship and you have uh, God asking you to do so, then follow the lead, obey him, because that's exchange of love to God. Um, but the first thing that I'm expressing here is that we are going to say yes to God, no matter what. We are going to surrender. We are going to be humble to say yes to God and then start loving as he wants us to love. And we are going to be able to see and have ideas and ways that we can love those that are impossible, but those are possible, you know, those are, those are easy to love, you know, and those that are not easy to love and, and, and be encouraged one another, you know. So the fasting mainly is about that, you know, to be encouraged to say yes about the pain, about the trauma, about anything else. Yes, I choose to love and I'm going to love. And we're moving in actions of love. So this fasting, I'm feeling to uh, end it in the tabernacle times, where then in that week, we can have a big celebration worldwide. My expectation is worldwide celebration with all of us can be outdoors with a great feast of love, the feast of love, the feast of God love in the midst of us, celebrating God love between one another in the way that, that made him come in and reveal to us, no matter where you are. Okay, so I will lead everyone to a link. I have not prepared anything yet. It's just today I felt that I, I shouldn't prolong this anymore. He needs help, my everything. And I say yes. And I will then later in a couple of days or week. I'm coming with more details about it, okay? So remember, start meditating. Take all the scriptures that you can read about it, love. Not only scriptures, meditate love. God can speak to your dreams or come into your sleep, not only into your sleep, but also when you awake in many other ways and speak to you about about love, but not only speak, allow you to experience his love because everything starts by him and him alone. Presence and unity, seeking him one by one in quiet place where you are alone with the Most High. So I bless the rest of your day. Be smart enough to choose love. Okay? God bless you. Shabbat shalom.